We always see the best of people in times like this. Uh, take, for example, this video from Orlando, Florida. There was a heroic effort to get nursing home residents to safety as the storm was barreling in. But even as Ian weakened, it did not spare other parts of the state of Florida. I mean, we're talking most of the people who live in this state were affected. Our Meg Oliver is in St. Augustine on the Atlantic coast. Meg, how are things there this morning? David, good morning. As you can see, it's very calm. Residents here in St. Augustine got through the worst of the storm last night. Yesterday morning, I was holding on to this railing as high winds blew through. Over the last 48 hours, we have seen some neighbors just helping in some of the most unimaginable circumstances. From Orlando, to Florida's northeast coast in St. Augustine, all the way up to Jacksonville. Hurricane Ian brought high winds, rain, and severe flooding, leaving cars submerged and forcing hundreds of people to flee their homes. In hard-hit Kissimmee, first responders used airboats to rescue those trapped. In some cases, people were carried to safety, like this woman crying with relief to escape the floodwaters. We're going through doing house checks. If anybody has any type of medical attention, we took the fire rescue guys with us and a couple deputies. We're going to bring them out to higher ground. Rescue crews raced to evacuate residents of this Orlando nursing home. This has got to be probably one of the worst hurricanes I've ever experienced in my life. This woman and her 72-year-old mother were forced to swim out a window to reach safety. We try to stay as high as we could, but it, you just get to a point where you can't, you can't go anymore. You have to like either swim or drown. I didn't imagine this. I didn't. I didn't see this coming. I didn't. This is. Uh, this is. Unreal. In Kissimmee, Rufus Gordon had an emotional reunion with his 87 year old father, Amos, who was stuck in high flood waters. They were very, very helpful. I couldn't have made it without them. The Gordons are both Navy veterans. Rufus said seeing the community come together reminded him. It makes it feel good to know we still have people that they want to do what they have to do to help others. Heartwarming indeed. Now, just to put things into perspective, the road below me was completely flooded yesterday, trapping us inside this hotel for most of the day. That water has receded, and we're learning that businesses plan to reopen to survey the damage and begin the cleanup. Now, what remains to be seen, David, is th across the bridge there on that barrier island, whether or not those low-lying homes are faring as well as we are here. That remains to be seen. Glad you're okay, Meg. Thank you very much. It really is incredible how fast the water not only rose, but receded as well.